Hello mages all over the world, my name is Martin and I'm raising flag from Prague, Czech Republic in Europe. It's been a while, it's more than a week since I uploaded last video, but I had different things to do in my life and now I'm back with Strixhaven Control Deck and some of you you are watching my channel longer you probably recognize this deck it's uh, probably the most uh, successful video in my channel fastest control deck in standard and today we got some upgrades from Strixhaven and also we got some updates because of current meta so let's see how our deck uh, looks like we got dream devourer which help us uh, foretell our expensive cards like professor onyx from strixhaven garrick and ugin these are these planeswalkers are our top end and we are winning the games because of them. Garrick is one of the best planeswalkers because, in my opinion, the best planeswalkers are those who can protect themselves without paying more mana cost, which means those planeswalkers who are creating blockers, which is why Liliana from War of the Spark is a great planeswalker, which uh, Garrick is a great planeswalker and why Ashiok, for example, is great planeswalker because they can protect themselves with creature they are generating. We got Professor Onyx, a new uh, planeswalker from Strixhaven. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. We got only sorcery and instant. Uh, except one creature and one enchantment so there will be a lot of lives uh, flying in the air and then we can basically fetch cards uh, and answers what we need with plus one we can uh, s make our opponent sacrifice creature or uh, creature with highest power which means the biggest threat and it could be even dream drawler because it's sacrifice effect and our ultimatum could be game over because each opponent may discard a card if they don't they lose three life repeat this process six more times so when our opponent got only one or two cards in their hand uh, then it means uh, for 12 12 lives down because of ultimatum so again great, great planeswalker a new edition and we got Ugin we all know what Ugin do uh, yeah we got Strixhaven out but unfortunately it's full of creatures and magecrafts and playing instant and sorcery and then got uh, some advantage for your creatures but it's still about creatures and as we all know creature decks are not popular if it's not aggro white aggro which can protect their things or red aggro which could kill you in turn four other creature decks are useless in current meta uh, that's why you don't see party decks and all those mechanics that's why you don't see uh, mutate deck because it's so easy to get rid of those creatures and then you got basically nothing to do you throw all your cards on board got wiped out because there are so many board wipes in red in black in white and it's basically a miracle when you faced against deck with no board wipes and Ugin is on the top end of Doros board wipes because when you got Ugin against creature deck it's basically automatically scoop uh, because this card should be banned 
it's destroying current standard you cannot play any creature deck you cannot do anything because of all the ramp blue green ramp even black green ramp and you can play Ugin basically turn six because we got dream devourer we got cultivate we got biting the old gods which uh, chapter two is ramping us to and we can throw Ugin pretty consistently consistently in turn six uh, which means yes Brixhaven great cards but still all dies to Ugin turn six ban Ugin and it will be much more fine if it's not banned I will play it because why not to win against everybody and meanwhile before we can play Ugin we got a lot of spot removals heartless act eliminates a new card from Strixhaven Baleful Mastery where we can exile target creature or planeswalker uh, and we can do it for two yes opponent will draw a card but hey still it's instant speed two mana cost exile effect creature or planeswalker without any other conditions we got extinction event and shadow verdict for uh, aggro decks we got binding the old god gods against any other permanent opponent could have if you saw if you see those cards uh, you could tell it's heavily prepared against creature decks and against aggro decks but we still could uh, play decent game uh, against uh, Yorian ultimatum Be <coughs> sorry because we still got binding the old gods which could kill almost anything they play with their ultimatum uh, we got Bale for Mastery for their Planeswalker. Everybody will be playing Tybalt, we know that. Everybody will be playing Professor Onyx, we know that. Everybody will be playing uh, Warring Legs and all those stuff, we know they will be playing. So uh, the strategy is uh, not allow them another turn, which means Epiphany gone. And when they play for example planeswalker and and warring clacks together then kill with instant speed uh heartless act bail for mastery or then use biting the old gods or clean it up with ugin and we still can play pretty decent game against the orion but yes this deck is heavily prepared against creature decks aggro decks the easiest matchup is white aggro and white life gain because you get rid of everything they don't have any card draw and they are not haste they don't have haste the hardest the harder matchup is red aggro because they are fast and they got faceless haven that's why we got field of ruins and we also can use <clears throat> baleful mastery heartless act or eliminate for that so it should be still good uh, with extension event and shadow verdicts and ugin on the top of the mountain garrick could stop them too and uh, then we got all other creature decks everybody's trying magecraft these days lessons uh, but it won't be anymore in in future meta because those deck will be will not be as strong as ultimatum decks or aggro decks uh, in general and then we got uh, rogues uh, we also could kill almost every rogues it depends how many counter spells they have but usually they got drowned in a log and maybe one more uh, of kind of counter spells so we could pretty easily lure counter spell out of their hand with one or two spells and then use for example shadow verdict and clean the board then play ugin 
everything goes well so it could it could go well against rogues but it could be hard matchup because of counter spells any counter spell deck dimmer dimmer control is really hard for us and uh, yorion yorion ultimatum is playable so this deck is uh, great in current meta uh, especially at the beginning of the season use this deck especially first four five days in uh, the new season because everybody's playing aggro everybody wants to be in mythic fast so they are grinding those fast matchups and you can easily stop them with this deck i call it fastest uh, control deck in standard why because uh, the aggro mages are not known for their patient which means almost everybody will scoop after turn three or four because you killed all their creatures and they got nothing in hand left which means those games could be pretty fast too they play creature attack they play second creature attack you kill some of them they play third creature you kill they play Faceless Haven, you killed it with Field of Ruins, and they scoop. Usually scenario with aggro decks. So it's pretty fast, pretty easy, and tons of fun. Ban Ugin, because when it's out there, a half of decks are not existing because they don't have chance against current meta against deck like this no party decks no magecraft no white aggro your decision let's see how we perform let's do it Lurus in standard. That's something you don't see every day. Okay, for me. Again, no green source. With two. With two color deck, you got problem. Got both color at the beginning of the game. <laughs> nice. Throw everything you got and I will exile it. That's my plan. Hmm. 
<clears throat> it's okay. I will survive one more attack. Let's see whether they use something, but there is no reason to play Lurus yet. So they will probably not play it. Wow. Wow. What a mistake. What a mistake. What a mistake. Hello, Professor. New job, new life, new opportunities. Yeah, now I'm about to kill whatever you play. Use it for killing selfless saber. Scoop. Fastest control in standard. I go first. I got what I need. Some removals. Extinction event, death touch is great. Now I need lands. Now I need lands. Or devour. Never mind. Hey, I got twenty six lands. It would be great to have some. I got some spot removals, ramp, and our top end. So let's do it. Opponent is on play, which means they will be soon without cards. Even with Mulligan, it's much better. Elves. Some board wipes probably would help.
Wait. Tasking. That's not good. I wanted to see you out of cards. So I need extension event. Because right now we are back at 7. Or 6. the turn when you can throw everything into the play so let's see nothing again I mean yeah you are drawing cards you are attacking for free but do you have something for planeswalker okay it's okay again you should do it before you attacked I guess you developed the whole board and Ugin Will solve it all. So see ya. Good game. Ugin. And we are back with our deck. <laughs> oh, Strixhaven control fastest deck. Fastest control deck in standard is uh, so beast it's really beast day as you saw we could we managed win pretty easily three times in a row it was all creature decks so we couldn't play against urion decks to be able to see how, how we perform against urion but it's definitely playable and creature decks just don't have chance against this deck. 26 lands, we don't usually have problem with lands. Uh, we kill everything they play and we got great top end finishers. Uh, in sideboard, in case you want to play best of three, we got Thurman script. It's great against rogues because you could uh, exile your graveyard. You can do it instant speed so when they for example, drown in a lock some of your spell, you sacrifice Torment Scrape, exile your graveyard, and uh, their drown in a lock doesn't counterspell anything. And uh, 
basically the rogues matchup you want to uh, have empty graveyard and then you are good you just kill everything they have they don't counter spell your spells and you're pretty easy to win so it's hard in best of one but it should be pretty easy in best of three sorcerer spyglass it's against any activated ability but heavily against planeswalkers it can shut them down completely uh, we got uh, some enchantments or artifact or exile target card from graveyard against uh, Croxatex, uh, Elspeth Nicemer uh, helps us exiling their graveyard together with Dormant Sprit because they are still cycling decks. We got Murderous Riders, especially against Planeswalkers because there are still a lot of Planeswalkers deck decks, so we need to be heavily prepared against Planeswalkers and with. Uh, Pay for mastery with murderous rider with eliminate we should be pretty prepared against place walkers we still can use binding the old gods so we got tons of removals against different stuff and more shadow verdicts in case we are playing against aggro deck and we really want to hit it in turn five or turn three when we use dream devourer so this is a deck as i mentioned it's beast definitely consider subscription i still got uh jeweled lotus fault extended art giveaway for my subscriber uh, you have to be subscriber to be able to uh, get this card it's pretty expensive card so hey why not so consider subscription uh, see you at the next one, have a magical day or night, whatever, and see ya.